Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back for another day on the Astro Gravitational Report. Um, yeah, you're gonna feel it when I wake up. Um, a lot of happens with these transitions overnight. And I'm talking about overnight is that um, when the moon was crossing, passing by through uh, Cancer, while I was sleeping, she was hitting um, the south node, the north node, square and opposing Pluto, uh, which is kind of like a bring you things from the past and the present in the same time, you may gonna feel a little energy that uh, it's gonna be affecting what you knew. Uh, but that of kind of like a energy is gonna be comes in in the morning, you probably gonna feel that energy is uh, in there is why did the things did not happen my way? Why did the things from the past did not uh, did it the way I want. Why did the unhealed wounds uh, is gonna be triggered? Uh, by the way, that energy is gonna come in in, uh, in the morning uh, because that is gonna be when at the moon it's gonna begin to exiting uh, uh, cancer. But in the afternoon at eight o'clock, uh, if you stay on the report until 8 p.m. hour, you're gonna see it. Uh, she's gonna be, the moon's gonna be on the ascendant. So basically all this is gonna come down from the shadow, from underneath, and it's gonna rise up in the horizon. It's gonna show up. Hey, this is what you have to do. This is what it was. That's what uh, this uh, uh, situations are. Uh, you may have to deal with uh, immature things that you did because you don't know. You may have to deal with uh, immature things that the people done to you uh that can be a very kind of like a heavy in there because one of the moon opposing pluto and pluto squaring the north nodes uh and the, the knots which is south node and the north node both past and the present karma in there you may gonna have a lot of things coming in like all of a sudden everything that you will be in uh suppress or bury it in a subconscious is gonna be kind of like a poof coming out why the reason is, is you're going to watch it in the next uh, two days when uh, the moon is traveling through Leo uh, in there and in, uh, the moon is going to begin to Virgo. It is about that energy to triggers of what he has to be healed, what it needs to be uh, going on and what you've been holding up. Why you've been holding up to the things that doesn't really currently at this present moment doesn't matter. What is it you didn't heal thanks? And now it's going to be uh, this period of uh, be patient uh, with yourself. Uh, I don't want to say it's heavy, but it, it's a uh, very fruitful in uh, personal growth within your psyche of your uh, spirituality that comes in and rises up. So that being said, I want to be giving you the daily chart of here. You can see it. There we go. So we are going on up here. Um, as I see it, I, uh, as I said, you know, the moon was right here at uh, a Cancer and uh, currently Midheaven is at Virgo, which is that is going to be the triggers at uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, and there she is uh, um, working very well with Neptune. She's working with uh, that inner work. Uh, there is this uh, beautiful energy with Uranus. But what I'm talking about here is that energies that it's squaring Venus and it's opposing Pluto and that energy right here. Uh, the North Node is on 23 degrees and Venus is on 25 and uh, Moon is on 25. They're all squared right now in there. Uh, for, but we're talking about those uh, energies that's going to be over the time that particularly triangle right here that you're going to see. Uh, is going to be coming. Uh, the rising energies, they're going to be focused of what is going on within uh, your intuitions in there. What is it, uh, seeing it, what is that, everything that it's coming in. I mean, we're talking about everything that has been about family, desire for family, things within the family, your family, your mom is dad's family, the grandma's family, the family 10,000 years ago, the family since the beginning what do you know about this and since pluto it's kind of like a moving at uh, the last portions of uh, 
of a Capricorn shows you this is what this thing is. You need to change, you need to grow, you need to mature. I'm going to give you a new way, but you have to process the old one. You need to get yourself to process the old one. So talking about this uh, triangle, now you're seeing it much uh, more clear. There's uh, issues uh, in there, but the ascendant is going to be the rising energies. They're going to be with the authority and uh, Mars. Still with this uh, beautiful energies with Jupiter, the midheaven is about maintaining the balance inside of you. Uh, there are certain things that you can do and certain things you cannot. Okay, do use your best as you can, as, as much as you can to navigate with and through the energies, but also you to improve yourself of catching the energies, what are they telling you, of what you need to uh, improve, what you need to evolve, I would say, even to within a psyche. So that way the psyche together with the powers uh, from an outside with the, that it comes in into the solar system, you actually can gain this new knowledge. So you're not uh, building the base of the old, you're building the base of the new. And uh, talking about the next uh, hour, the midheaven is right here with Venus. Uh, now you, you're facing at those energies with Pluto and uh, Venus pretty much. Uh, you're going to be facing a that as like uh, the love. Maybe in the past people didn't love me. That doesn't mean that the people right now, they don't love me. I just feel the energy of the past. One of the things that's going to be triggered, it's maybe inside of you. It's going to be a review of your past loves, or past connections, or past situations in there. Uh, that could be because you have to learn from the past, but you have to let it go of the past. Don't bring your past into your current connections because their family otherwise is not going to be good. And since uh, uh, the moon is right in here, still in Cancer, she might remind you like a nostalgia or some things that it's inside of you that can trigger you uh, about the past. Uh, what could have been if I left with this person? What could have been? It's kind of like a, one of those situations, but you see it from within that currently uh, the present energies is that that it didn't happen because it's not meant to happen, okay? But you're going to find out the things that you did wrong within this, your own uh, self, looking at from uh, what you love and the energy of uh, Neptune and uh, uh, Uranus is going to be help you. Just be mindful about this Neptunizations. I tell the people, don't go so deep within the, some of the things inside of you. Know your powers. Don't dive too deep because somebody later on has to come take you out. Uh, just look from it to yourself with the lower energies and go up. Okay? Nobody's responsible to pick you up uh, from the hole that you are going in. But it's your job to go through that hole and uh, don't involve other people. Kind of like, oh, I'm on this, this, and this situation. Come pick me up. Oh, I'm on this, this, and this come and pick me up you know people can pick you up one two three five ten times and after the ten time they're gonna be come on you gotta pick yourself up that's how you learn but talking about those uh, energies they can be a very kind of like a tricky uh, and uh, be mindful about this okay Talking about the next hour, which is going to be at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, the rising energies are with Capricorn. Um, this energy is right here. The inner work is within the shadow facing uh, Jupiter. What do you have not grow? Okay. It's easy you to put the responsibility that other things, they didn't work on somebody else. How about you can take a look your responsibility that you didn't do to make the things work? Have you seen the things inside of you? Have you pushed the people who loved you and uh, now you are kind of like you blaming them because you pushed them because something that you demanding instead of working you so there is a gonna be a lot of triggers uh with this uh flacking around uh in there at that hour but that is a reminder about uh, what happened to the scorpio season speaking of that scorpio season you're gonna get those heavy reminders and since the ascendant is rising with pluto here yeah, that red triangle, you guys seeing it here. Uh, it's going to be interesting, but thank God the midheaven is here within the shadow. That is going to help you to clean up the rock 
the stuff that you've been hitting underneath the rock now that's coming out uh, don't hide things uh, inside of it and that is a, one of the things that people have to learn because the more you're hiding from within then the more heavy is going to be when it's coming out so uh, looking at in this uh, energy that's what uh, pluto is trying to tell us okay don't bury deep emotions don't bury uh, deep uh, things inside of it resolve them from within you unresolved issues going to be looking at you and they can become unresolved patterns inside of you within your life and then you're going to be looking at what's going on with my love well the love is here to heal you but also the pluto is here to tell you that your improper understanding about love and the situations about within the family is about to change you have to learn to cooperate in there but first of all within your own self and take a look at that kite uh, right here that it's uh, made it between <coughs> midheaven neptune pluto uh, and uh, the moon right here you see that kite uh, right there that it's kind of like a strain the flight uh those are the energies that uh, right now it tells you you take that uh, uh dirt out of your subconscious uh, your things now you're more light you're going to be not that heavy on yourself and you can be able to fly. I mean, you did that work. It's going to be interesting. Uh, you, you see it, you know, those divine energies with mid heaven right here, the masculine energies, you take the courage, the power, the actions uh, in there. And uh, as you see it right now, the Sun and Mars, they don't have other aspects right here currently. They only resonate with Jupiter. And uh, you might gonna feel like you're left alone to grow on your own. Yes, sometimes you have to be learning that life is about you to take care of yourself on your own. Stop looking for someone to take care of you. And this is a, one of the maturing situations and uh, uh, looking inside of you is like, what are you going to do? Uh, maybe spend time with uh, yourself together and see the things uh, that you have to really, really deep working with yourself. That's better. My throat was right. I'm sorry about that. So, um, the next hour, uh, talking about Midheaven, is going to be at Sag, but um, squaring uh, Neptune. Usually that is a, like, uh, you don't see the things and you only act of uh, the, you know, you don't see the things of yourself and you're acting only of the visions that uh, you see from others. And it's like, uh, oh, you, you, you didn't did this, uh, you should have done this, you should have done that. What about you asking those same questions to your own self? Uh, it's going to be a heavy because this is going to be the time and the moment when the moon kind of like, a, she's going to be kind of like a little bit heavy on this. We're talking about this Saturn and uh, Mercury situations in there. In a way, that's going to be a good energy because you saying the things that was stopping you. But when you look at the moon, what are you sending back is going to be important. What it's coming out of you. You can take the energies that are coming through, to the, through the solar system within yourself to correct yourself. But what is going to come out? And be mindful about this uh, square again uh, uh, right here. Usually the moon, uh, the moon and uh, Venus uh, squaring Pluto doesn't lead to any good feminine energies. Uh, be mindful within yourself. Don't create any uh, deep, deep feelings that you should uh, kind of like stay away from the trauma and the drama. But the trauma has to be addressed so the drama can end. That kind of like sort of things. And we're talking about the next hour since the Ascendant is going to be an Aries. It's going to be opposing Venus and squaring the Moon and Pluto and all this. It's going to be like, here is, uh, here is the soup. Okay, here is the soup. You see everything, the past, the future, the present. Uh, what are you going to do with all this? 
okay it's coming in in your life right now because this is a, exactly what the where the ascendant and the north node is that is a 23 degrees uh, 43 minutes is the ascendant 23 degrees 50 minutes is the ascendant and uh yeah you gonna be facing it uh, all that uh, that requires all these uh, changes uh that is it gonna be the need and the power inside of you for cardinal changes in a way those oppositions they can trigger so much but in a way those triggers is gonna help you so so much and as you see it uh, within those uh, positions, mid heaven, there is a at Capricorn, that is a the power inside of you that you need to address. Because currently the ascendant is what it's supposed to be. And Aries, he is in the first house. Okay, Cancer is the fourth house where it's supposed to be. Okay, Libra begins the seventh house. That's where it's supposed to be. All right. And you see it, those uh, energies that uh, is going to trigger that whatever it's not fixed, it's kind of like aligning itself back. So to be fixed. Here it is. Uh, we're talking about uh, three o'clock, uh, the ascendant here at uh, 20 degrees uh, at uh, Taurus. Uh, that's going to be together with uh, Uranus. The universe is helping you okay it does help you but now we have that inner work with pluto uh that is going to be uh triggering so much it says like you need to pay attention to this so now is that transformation time that you have to see the transformations between the intuitions and the love that it's coming why they are out of balance why the family is out of balance what is it not in what is not out too much for some of, some of the people to progress because if you're focused on that energy, that is going to be telling you a lot. But uh, that energy, when it's talking to you a lot, take a look, take your time, meditate if you have to, take a nap if you have to. Uh, go purge that energy, go ground yourself, take a shower uh, in there. But uh, usually those energies that comes in to cleanse you. All right. That cleansing that it's going to be needed of course uh, you move uh, forward uh, the things is that the mid heaven it is at uh, Aquarius as I said before those energies of Aquarius are coming they're going to be strong and powerful within uh, currently those energies they're going to be squaring Jupiter because if you don't grow how are you going to understand the future that it's coming to you you need to grow uh, that is a the time like for example uh, yeah for the first time you're handling uh, a touch screen phone and you're like man I don't know how to operate with this before it was good I just had these buttons and I'll push, uh, push send and I can make the call now it's just I have to do this and this and so much this and so much of that I don't know what to do with all this device in there so uh, that is the same thing from within you um, that uh, power of growth that you are learning and uh, the best power that is is to self-learning and this is what the Aquarius does the Aquarius is a self learners they go they search they investigate um, they educate that is a what that power is because the feeling of what it has to be learned to be done Okay, if the job is not done, why it is not done? And they can tell you here, that's the reason why it's not done. And uh, <coughs> we're talking about, excuse me, talking about that five, um, that five o'clock energy, as you see it right now, we have another kite that it's forming towards Mercury. There's going to be all sorts of energies uh, in there. I mean, you can be feel a lot of mix, a lot of uh, mixed feelings, mixed energies. I mean, name it, what uh, what can it be? I mean, through all those energies uh, in there, uh, this is a, I, feel, I have to do a chart for a person, the way this is. 
uh, in there. This is a so much rich uh, chart that, I mean, currently to present those energies, this person has a, a lot of things they need to solve from uh, within. Uh, that is a, about where he's standing of the job, the work, and uh, um, and the love uh, issues with mother, mothering issues. At the same time, it's a uh, lack of growth of the mother uh, in there, which is that is a Jupiter squaring uh, uh, the moon. The moon just entering Leo. That can trigger some additional uh, personal attentions need. If you are Leo, you know what I'm talking about uh, in there. That is a when you want to be an admirer. But uh, when the admiration comes naturally, it's different than admirations you demand for yourself. That's how some of the pitfalls is there, maturity from within. So there's going to be some triggers uh, in there. Um, talking about that next hour, which is already going to be at 6 p.m., uh, in there, that is a where the moon was there yesterday. You're looking at it, that uh, same energy. It's like, oh yeah, I'm familiar with this. I went through this. I understand what I have to do. I understand all these situations. Mid heaven, it's squaring uh, Mars and uh, um, and the sun. And uh, those energies, they can be triggering a lot because mid heaven and uh, ascendant, they're just showing you what's going to happen they are teaching you of how the things are going to come in specifically the ascendant the ascendant it tells you in an advance when it goes before the moon it tells you whether the moon is going to be triggered in an hourly base of what the things will be and this is why when the ascendant uh, meets uh, together with the moon then your intuition is, is a line up those are the hours of the intuitions that they're working the best for you so we're talking about seven o'clock as you see it i spoke about this just a little bit before eight o'clock i talked to you about this eight o'clock you see how those energies right here are lining up they are about to coming in for all those a uh, beautiful time of uh, communications between uh, the moon and uh, mars that is a, the intuitions that uh, it's coming and it says like, you know what, things are going on. Uh, stop that fight from within, stop these uh, energies within, in, following that growth. But at the same time, the moon is not listening to growth. Usually this is a the time when you tell the people what you have to do it yourself. And uh, throughout this uh, energy of do it yourself, it's going to be triggered that transformations from within before you say something to someone do it yourself and then be an example of what needs to be done and uh, here is uh, i'm talking about uh, exactly that uh, specific energy at eight o'clock in the afternoon um as you see it uh, those uh, powerful uh, powerful energies there are coming the moon right now it's in the main focus because that's what you see but the mid heaven is the mid heaven is in areas pretty much together with chiron the healing in there of authority and the warrior within the intuitions for the right things to happen from within yourself you to become wise you to become this energy so strong and so uh wisdom of the queen that needs to make decisions and we're talking about that this is a uh, uh, energy so much positive in a way but if you using it on the wrong side we're talking about this is going to be a very self-destructive energy we're talking about jupiter uh, squaring the moon in leo that is a like i'm not growing materially this is going to be like the queen is mad that uh, come on you didn't give me the money of the taxes that I'm charging you uh, in there. At the same time, you know, you guys don't love me. I'm your queen. You guys should have to love me. You're demanding someone to have feelings about you for for love. And uh, uh, that change of transformations. Before you're demanding something, you have to make sure you give that. And that's what the the magical power of giving is. 
you give what and ten if the person is the right you're gonna be able to receive uh this is why those uh, energies they're gonna be talking to you about the balance of give and receive since uh, venus is still trying to maintain the balance within yourself Talking about nine o'clock, the ascendant moves into uh, further within the Leo, pretty much the mid uh, of uh, Leo, 14 degrees. Uh, you're going to see at that moon tomorrow, uh, the way it's going to be at uh, at uh, this time. Uh, I can kind of like give you just a little bit preview about this as you see it uh, in there. Uh, I'm sorry, I just clicked uh, the wrong button. And there you go. As you see it right here is that uh, issues of people not listening what's going on with the universe. That's going to be about tomorrow. So pay attention to that uh, hour uh, in there because the, that ascendant is going to show you what is going to be happening on Earth in your material possessions in there. So those triggers, they're going to come in and it's kind of like a giving you a preview if you pay attention. So particularly that uh, line right here and this with uh, Mars and uh, Uranus, um, Mars and the Sun, I'm sorry. That is a, what is going to be um, this intuition, learning authority with the warrior when they all come and they're all on the same page and they're all matured. Okay, this is a one you understanding that uh, throughout this immaturity, the all mature. But be mindful about this energy between a mid heaven and uh, um, and Pluto and the Moon, especially with Venus. This energy is gonna come in and is gonna be really trigger you because that now it's in a sixth house. It's gonna show you the things that need to be healed. Okay, and we're talking about that uh, 10 o'clock, the energy is going to be a little bit more, which is telling us in about two days. Uh, what is the energy is going to be uh, two days from now? You're going to find out the moon is going to be right in here. Okay, but that is a, the learning of seeing the visions, seeing the love, growth within the universe in itself. But first, you have to learn the suppressions inside of you, those um, limits. When you reach the limits from within you, then the limits, it's limits. Because if you are um, shoving dirt under the rock, the rock can only take only uh, as much as they can take. After that, you're going to see this big pile that it's covered with rock. But now you're going to see the things. They're going to be obviously and we're talking about uh 11 o'clock uh in there uh mid heaven it's gonna be at um a taurus uh, the ascendant is gonna be here with um lilith and uh that energy uh is gonna bring also a little internal conflict within the masculine energies okay we do this we support this and so on and what do we got if you're acting like this, what you got, you, you mature, you grow. That's what you have to look. You made the next step. You continue going on the journey. You continue improving and growing in there. But if you're thinking for something personally inside of it and so on, take a look at it. What did you not did you to have that from within yourself? Okay. Usually the warrior it is the type uh, of uh, energy that can evolve and can turn to the rest of archetypes, which is mean the villain or the victim. So be mindful about what those energies are going to tell you. The best part is if you listen at the soul from within yourself, you're going to find a lot of strength a lot of power and of course a lot of love with you guys okay that's what i'm leaving you guys be love